Hey folks, just wanted to jump on, uh, given the fact that we just had the close on Wall Street, so it's just gone nine o'clock here in London, and we've seen the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF, the first Bitcoin-related ETF has closed up 4.7% on its NYSE trading debut. And so just given this is a bit of a watershed moment for the cryptocurrency space, thought I wanted to kind of stamp it with a, a marker with a video to, to cement that today. So a couple of things to be aware of then and having a look. So first off, we saw the BITO is the ticker that's been issued, the ticker symbol to the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF. And initially, straight out of the gate today, it shot up immediately almost 5% before pairing its gains. But as we said, this doesn't include the full price, but we finished up 47 towards the higher end of that trading range. Uh, in addition, and we'll have a look at, Bitcoin has also been supported by this move. So irrespective of perhaps some fears about a buy the rumor, sell the fact type reaction because of the fact we've been rallying quite aggressively through October. In fact, despite a, a brief um, look to the downside, the price of Bitcoin futures is trading near 65,000 and we're back up towards these all time high levels in the Bitcoin um, price. So a couple of things to be aware of then. First off, the actual trading volumes have been phenomenal, really. Uh, this has been in the pipeline for a long time. A lot of people have been arguing that a Bitcoin centric ETF has been well overdue. And in fact, the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy Exchange Traded Fund trading volume topped $1 billion on its first day. Uh, that ranks it um, the investment vehicle as one of the top ETF launches in history. Um, so a couple of things then to, to be aware of. Um, why is it such a big deal? Any crypto followers would probably recognize the, the Bitcoin bull Tom Lee, the co-founder of Fundstrat Global Advisors. Um, but some analysts have been very bullish about the prospects of, of BITO. Um, the futures-based Bitcoin ETF could attract more than 50 billion US dollars in inflows in its first year, given all of the hype around it. And there's you know some or well, a lot to say for the idea of being first to market, first to be established, first to grab that market share, and certainly ProShares uh, have had that opportunity. We are anticipating further launches, issues from the likes of Valkyrie, Grayscale Investments um, will all be coming to market in the foreseeable future. Another person that's been a very familiar face <clears throat> in this Bitcoin ETF conversation has been this chap here. And so the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, otherwise known as the SEC, have approved ProShare Bitcoin futures ETF application over the weekend. And uh, that's such a big deal because it's the first cryptocurrency linked that the US financial service market regulator has approved. Um, Gary Gensler, who you're looking at here, um, has been viewed by some as being quite open-minded towards crypto. And in fact, a number of his comments that he was making in recent weeks um, have helped support the price increase that we've had in Bitcoin over the, the course of the last month. So he's seen as a little bit more open-minded than his predecessor, um, Jay Clayton. And observers on Bloomberg and other media agencies have been quick to note that Gensler's previous interest in crypto goes back to his time where he once taught a class at MIT's Sloan School of Management called specifically blockchain and money. And so therefore, he is seen a bit more, I guess, educated in the space and so therefore open towards the idea of um, approving these applications. And the first one, of course, having gone through, the floodgates are now open, would expect more to follow. Now, I guess a common question, if you're new to this, um, what what is an ETF, an exchange traded fund, and how exactly does it work? So here's a brief definition from our friends at Investopedia, because uh, they're always the go-to source for the, the much more definitive uh, wording around this. And quite simply, an ETF is an investment vehicle that tracks the performance of a particular uh, asset or group of assets. Um, they allow then investors to help diversify uh, their investments without actually owning the assets in themselves. So it's a very common investment um, avenue that a lot of people follow across the world. Uh, Bitcoin ETF is one that mimics the price of most the most popular digital currency, of course, in Bitcoin. And that allows investors to buy into the ETF without going through the complicated process of um, trading Bitcoin in itself. And that's been one of the key issues 
which has really impeded, I guess, much more wider um, adoption, at least from an investment perspective, um, because of those uh, complications. Now, a couple of things then to mention on that front. Uh, why not just invest directly in Bitcoin in itself? Well, here's four, not an exhaustive list, but four points that really would suggest why that wouldn't be the case and why then then is the purpose of an ETF. Um, number one is no need to bother with security procedures associated with holding Bitcoin. So obviously, if you're holding it, um, where do you store it? Uh, on your keys? On Online? Is it subject to hacking? Uh, the various different protocols and means that you need to go through, whereas in the ETF, it's all kind of wrapped up and more, as far as the investor perception will be concerned, secured in that format. Two, you can deal directly with traditional exchanges and markets, so much more matured, and so people will feel more comfortable in that scenario. Uh, investors can also shorten ETF, uh, but you can't short Bitcoin. So with Bitcoin, you're buying and then selling, ideally at a higher price, and then the price falls, you go into it again, looking to make profit on the increases of that asset price, whereas investors can, in effect, short sell an ETF. And then more wider adoption and understanding of ETFs. Um, you know, if you're looking at the broader marketplace, ETFs make up a huge proportion of the industry. And so therefore, people feel comfortable within the uh, the terms and constraints and the way of which ETFs operate. And so therefore, bringing cryptocurrencies into that space in itself legitimizes it, perhaps in the minds of these types of investors. So key takeaways, really, um, a very meaningful day uh, for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. It's not a massive surprise today in itself, but it rubber stamps then what we've been pricing into Bitcoin, for example, over the course of the last several weeks, and no doubt will help immensely in more wide scale adoption of crypto for more traditional investors. And in the end, um, that's definitely going to support the ball case for Bitcoin in the long term, at least. And this is just a quick look at the Bitcoin chart as it trades of right now. And so trading back to 64,000. So right up at these all time levels, high levels. Uh, the future has printed at 64,780 uh, as well, just in the last few minutes as I've been talking. So hopefully that was useful. Uh, just really quickly wanted to jump on. Um, don't forget, if you haven't already done so, and I'll drop the link in the comment section below, you can just jump on to amplifyme.com forward slash market hyphen maker, and you can get access to my daily a newsletter. It's completely free. It's where I talk about things like this. It's where I talk about things like yesterday, COVID case rates and why they're inclining and how that can mean for the economy, for example. So all things to do with markets, feel free to subscribe. That newsletter comes out on a daily basis. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Thanks very much, guys, and catch you for the market macro briefing tomorrow morning.